Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. This is our Angular 16 NGRX tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain how to pass data to the actions using action probes. So the same functionality available in this Redux pattern also, the property name is payload. So in this NGRX, we can use as the probes. Okay, for doing this implementation, I am going to use the same counter application that is created based on my last video. So in this counter application, we have three actions. The first one is increment and decrement and the final one is reset. Here we are doing this increment and decrement by one. So that means whatever value available in this current state, if the action is increment means we are adding by one. Similarly for the decrement, I am providing minus 1, okay? So instead of adding by 1, I am going to provide only input. Based on the input value, we can do this increment and decrement actions, okay? Now we can start our implementation. So the first thing is, I am going to create one new component. So the name is custom counter, okay? Next, we can create our actions. So already we have one action file, counter.action. So here I am going to create one more new action. Export constant. The action name is custom increment. Okay. So we can provide the unique name is custom increment. So the next thing is we have to pass the data. So as I mentioned, we can use the props option. Okay. So this props also belongs to this NGR store. So let me provide the property name is value and the data type I am going to use number. Okay. So let me format this one. So the similar way we can pass n number of parameters also. Okay. So as of now I just pass this value. So similarly if I am having some other properties also I can include. Okay. So anyway let it be. We can include later. And finally we have to use like this. Okay. Next let me move on the reducer side. So in this reducer we can see this action increment, decrement and also this reset. So after that we can include our custom increment also, okay? So let me change this into custom increment. So initially I am going to provide the value is the default state value only. And in this parameter point of view already we have this state. I am going to include this action also. Now this is let it be. Let me move on the component side. So in this component, let me copy this selector. We can include in our app component. And I see the output. Okay, the text is coming. And here I am going to use some material UI component. So we can import all the required models. I am going to use this mat card input select control so obviously form field also so we have to import all the models also so the first one is mat card model next mat input model and the third one is mat select model and the final one is mat form field model So in this HTML side, we can include this mat card. Then let me include two custom classes. So inside the mat card, I am going to use one input control.
after that I am going to include one button okay so already we have included some buttons in our counter button component we can copy and reuse it in our custom counter also okay so let me provide the name is custom increment and let me write the function also here we can have one constructor and let me declare one variable also counter input so the data type is number so let me save this one see ok the design should be like this so in this counter inside the mat card we can include this mat card content also so actually this is for the designing purpose only ok this is somewhat fine so the next thing is uh, we have to take this value and also in this actions we have to dispatch our custom increment action ok so first let me dispatch this one so before that we have to inject this store so that already we have done in our button component also so first we have to provide our reducer object name say counter so then state value format just a number that's it so let me format it so after that we can dispatch our action here so this dot store dot dispatch and our action name is custom increment it is expecting one parameter so that is our counter input okay it is showing any error so we have to pass the values in this object format so the value equal to this dot counter that's it so let me format this one so the next thing is we have to get the input value for that I am going to use the two way binding so first we have to import the form model ok so this is fine and next in our HTML control side so in this input I am going to use ng model ok and let me save this one and finally we can complete our reducer side so as of now I am just assigning the current state value so after that whatever data we are getting through our action that we can include it here action dot value ok so let me save this one so here I am going to provide 20 so if I am clicking this custom increment I am getting this 5 to 0 ok the reason is whatever value we are passing it is considering as the string only so we have to convert this into integer so that we can do it from our component itself ok we can assign like this so let me save this one so now I am going to provide 20 so if I am clicking this button see the counter value is 25 so if I am clicking this increment button it is adding by one only but the similar way if I am clicking this custom increment so whatever value I am having in this input control based on that the value should be increased ok ok this is working fine so as of now we are passing only one parameter that is nothing but an user input and also this action point of view we are doing only increment ok so what I am going to do let me pass one more parameter so that parameter is nothing but an add or remove ok that is the input data so let me include one select control so once this implementation is completed you will get some better idea ok so let me provide action type so instead of the input control I am going to use this match select so in this match select I am going to have this match option 
so the first option is add and the second option is remove and in this value point of view also we can add as the add remove okay and in this ts side we can declare one more variable action type and the property string so let me save this one and we can include this variable into our two-way binding just we can cut this one we can include it in our match select itself so let me remove this input control see the screen now it is having add and remove so the default value we can provide as the add so this is fine and the next thing is we have to make changes in our action side so already I am passing one parameter so after that let me include one more parameter action data type is string we can format this one so obviously we are getting error from our common side so here we can pass our next parameter so the parameter is action the value is action type and in our reducer side I am going to check like this action dot action double equal to add if it is add we can have the existing item else it is obviously remove only so then we can provide us the minus and in this design point of view also instead of the label we can use the mat label so I'm going to provide a 10 or 11 so the action type is had so if I'm clicking this custom increment see the value is 16 so similarly if I'm changing this into remove let me provide 5 so the expected output is 11 and we can change this button text also proceed okay again I'm providing 100 it is 105 and in this remote time let me provide 73 so the value is 32 so now if I'm clicking this decrement the value is decreased similarly this increment it is increased by 1 at the same time if I'm proceeding with an our custom functionality if I provide 20 the action type is add means the expected output should be 53 okay okay this example is working fine only so our end object is we should know how to pass the data through our actions and also how to pass multiple data so that actually we have clearly done so let me provide an overview so first in our action side using this props we are passing this object so if you want to pass single data we can pass and also if you want to pass multiple data we are able to pass okay once it is done we have to handle in our reducer side so we have included one more parameter that is our action so using this action we are able to get the values okay finally in this component side while dispatching this action we have to pass the exact data so that is all about our concept so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching